Morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. This is part two of Going South, mate. Do you reckon we've gone south enough? Hey? We're pretty south. <laughs> <laughs> like we told you, the whole point of this trip is to head down to the snow. This is our first snow camp, and we got super lucky, mate. We're at a place called Bullock's Hill Campground. Mm. Anyway, we've come out of Cooma, and we're heading up the range towards Tumut before we head back down to Mount Beauty. But anyway, you'll see that later on in the episode. Uh, where we left you last time was Tiwa Beach, heading to the Gold Coast. <laughs> We shot down there. Um, we we've got a few screams out of Beck on a roller coaster. Yep. We had Jack's birthday, and then we'll yeah. show you a couple more wicked hip camps on the way south. What do you reckon? It was really fun, but so happy to be here in the snow. It is <laughs> absolute. It's like a winter wonderland. Mate. Bucket list ticked. Oh, come and have a quick look at this. Oh, you can see it in the background. Look at that. We had fresh snow overnight on the car. <laughs> All right, giddy up. Let's get into this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm quietly happy with myself. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you in a second. We're going to hold you in suspense. Haven't done that for a while. What I really want to show you, I don't know if you can hear that sizzling in the background. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oi, oi, oh, oi. Uh, we have just found this little hip camp. It's called the Back Paddock. I'll put the details in for you, but I'm going to take you for a walk around and show you. And I've got something pretty special going on. It's damn cold. It's like dead set zero degrees. It's got to be. But have a look at this. Let's go for a tour. You ready? Hang on. I'll start with the setup because look at this. What's going on here? I've got the van, the car awning out and the van. But look. <laughs> ah. ah, yes. Thank you. Spit roast on the go. Roast lamb on the charcoal. It's raining, so I'll put this one out to cover it up. Uh, this is the first time I've done this. So I'm, it could still be an epic fail. I've had a few flare-ups already. I don't know how it's going to go with the lamb fat. But anyway, van parked up here on a slab and then spin, check it, check it, check it. Look at that. Got our own waterfront site, mate. A few views over the hills in the distance there. Oh, mate, whoever owns the joint, that's their property over the back there. They've got about three, saw, three or four sites here scattered around the joint. But yeah, got a nice flat pad. Got a fire pit area. Ah, uh, damn. She goes, ah, oh, you can swim in the dam if you want. I'm like, yeah, right. It's zero, mate. I'm surprised you can't skate on it. What do you reckon? Scared. You're scared? It's cold. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a challenge, mate. I'm going to try and make a challenge in every vid this series. This one is the kids to paddle across the dam. Look at this. They're going to make it across there. And um, I'll give them a whole packet of marshmallows to toast on the fire, and they can even do it before dinner. How good's that? What about you, dear? You gonna have a go? No, no. I'll push him in, though. I'll be like, no bullet. I'll kick, I'll kick the kayak in. I'll push you in. <laughs> you should have a go. I'm oh, look out! She's off. No, All right, Charlie. we're on. Go, son. Oh. Go, Bezzy. Do I have to go in the kayak? Probably shouldn't go in boots, Jack. If you fall in, you won't be able to swim. Hey, Charlie, sit central. Sit on your bottom. Are you sure I can do that? Oh. <laughs> was this a good idea? This is your idea. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good one though? No. <laughs> yeah. Come inside and see the miso because she's pretty proud of herself. Um, tell us a story. You're, you're pretty stoked with what you're doing in here, mate? Or? I'm proud of myself for <laughs> cutting up spuds. So we're going to have mashed spuds with our spit tonight. And, you know, mashed spuds. I grew up on mashed spuds. Did you? We lived on mashed spud. I swear, Mum used really? to make it, like, every night. What was your favourite recipe for mashed spud? Really good potato. My grandfather was a spud farmer, so I used to get really good spuds. Oh, Watching the boys outside, they found an old broken arrow and they're fighting with an arrow and a stick uh, and karate kicks. Anyway, it won't be long until someone starts crying, don't worry. Boys will be boys. Mm. All right, so Spud Farmer's daughter. Um, no, granddaughter. Oh, Spud Farmer's granddaughter. Yeah. What's your, your favourite sort of spud to make mashed spud? Ask my mum. <laughs> Mum, what's your favourite sort of spot? Mum! Well, how do you not know this? I don't know. I don't remember. Really? No, I just go to Woolies and buy spuds. Yeah, but you should buy, if you're going to make mashed spud, you need the right spud. What? Wouldn't it just be come out of the ground, like a real good farm out of the ground spud? It's hard to say. Anyway. What do you think, Bezzy? What's your two cents worth? I think Mum's the worst mashed butter spider in the world. 
I thought we were best friends. Oh my goodness. Whenever you You just got absolutely <laughs> rolled. Rolled by your daughter. Whenever you uh, mash you know, mashed 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 like I always overboil them because I hate mashing them. And you uh, mash and your arm gets so sore and every time they're still lumpy. I'm like, I need to get out my thermomix. Oh, hey, high five, baby. You're, Aww. You, I think you need to give mum a cuddle though. Yeah. You're, I think you're fine at mash buds, do you? Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so he's paddled across the dam and you get a bag. For, hang on. Why is there two bags of marshmallows? Because you there? said a whole one and that's only half. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I said you just could have them before dinner. Mm -hmm. All right. Righto. Off his go. Wait, if you guys like burnt marshmallows, but probably you don't, hey, I do. Yeah, I think you're the only one that likes burnt marshmallows. Mum does. No, I don't burn, I get them though. Like. I don't, but oh, no. I was what? doing mum for mum. Show me how you do a marshmallow, girl. Oh, they're the best. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at, see, Rue just throws it straight in the furnace. Absolutely destroys them. Pulls them out, lets them burn, and then eats them. Look at yeah. this. I love these. Oh, that's like... This is good. It's like a bit of coal, mate. Oh, that was so hot. Mm? No? Mm -mm. Wow. Show me your technique, Bill. Ah, you're my man. I'm a golden brown man. <laughs> These are the best ones. That's so good. What about you, Bezzy? How do you do yours? I go mine golden or burnt, but it's I not, don't. But I like golden more than burnt. It's not the best marshmallow fire. It's a bit cranking. Yeah, because it's before fun. dinner. Normally we eat them after dinner. Look at this marshmallow. Oh, look at that yeah, this bumpy. Mm, the black bit's actually my favourite. The burnt bit. You like yep. the burnt bit the best? Yeah. Oh, yuck. Who are you? Yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. One last selfie with the meat. Look at it. Yeah. At least you had something in hand. Yeah. That looks so good. It looks right. It looks a little bit crispy, and it probably is. But I think the inside will be delicious. Let's go and have a look. Oh! What do you reckon of this, dear? Goody. Oh wow! That looks amazing. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! All right, so. Is that gonna feed us all? I don't. <laughs> what? What? So it's worked out all right. What are you? Everyone happy with the old lamb on the spit? Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you love it? What's going on here, Bill? What's what's on your head there, mate? Lammy. 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 Lammy's been around for eight years. Lammy's been around since Bill was a baby. And now Lammy's here to um, eat Lammy on the spit. He often sits with us, doesn't he? Anyway, Alan? he does sit with us. Yeah. But he's on his head tonight. Uh, <laughs> this is it. Check it. There you go. Lamb on the spit. Uh, Beck's famous mashed potato. Well done, dear. It actually tastes really good. Could everyone agree, please? It's even yeah. got a, It's even got the famous lumps in it. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, yes, thank you. I went extra hard with the arms today. Anyway, a uh, bit of three veg, bit of broccoli, bit of broccolini, bit, bit of cauliflower. Of Just Look, Justin trick. and I always uh, sit here and like, we've never had fussy eaters or anything. We love that the kids sit down and really enjoy their vegetables and their meat and everything. Yeah. So we feel really lucky in that way because we know some parents out there really struggle to get their kids to eat and have a beige diet. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> beige that's it. Diet. There you go. It's worked out alright. Good night, Lammy. Night, night. Hang on, where is he? There. Night, Lammy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lammy's on the plate. Alright, if you ever wondered <clears throat> if our kids fart in the back seat, I'm here to tell you they are. <laughs> Billy and Charlie were fighting in the back here, so I put Bill in the front. Not funny, Charlie I'm Bear. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to Cooma. Where are we going? Cooma. You got it. <laughs> There's a dump point in Cooma. Um, Beck's got to empty that before when we get there. Yeah, pretty keen. No, you don't make the bed. Mate, this is the first time for everything. Um, Oh, you come with me. We're at the Kuma dump point. It's an actual ripper, mate. It's not often I get excited about dump points, but check it. You've got a water fill point, you've got bins, and you've got your dump point. Happy days. 
So we've just done our two, but had a bit of carnage in here, dear. What happened? Oh, I broke my beautiful coffee mug. How did that happen? I don't know. I think I had it stacked up sitting in here and we've hit a bump and it's like fallen out. Mate, you know what? I'm really annoyed because you know how much that damn coffee mug was. I, I can't I can't even tell you because it makes me sick. Anyway, uh, yeah, here you go. Check it. Drinking water, bins, and um, this is us on the side of the road. I am going to um, empty the bins too. Can you throw me the bins? There's a set of bins here. And then we're going to check out downtown Cooma uh, and then head up the mountain, mate. Keen Bill? Yeah. Say good day to Lammy. Hey, Lammy. Hello. Hey, uh, I just want to show you something quickly that I use for fuel along the way. Uh, it's just an app. It's called, hang on, I'll shut it down so you can see it. That one there, Fuel Map Australia. Can you see that? Anyway, I'll open that up. And then what it does, you just put in your location uh, and it tells you all the servos around the area. But what you can do, see in this top right corner, I don't know if you can see that, it says diesel. You can adjust it to unleaded or diesel. But then if you zoom in on the, the servos in town, it tells you what's the cheapest. And look at that diesel. There's like $2.22, $2.18, $2.22. There's one here I saw before, look at that. Oh, the shell is $2.15. We'll swing past there. Anyway, that's what I use when you're just driving into town and Beck's like, we look for a dump point and then generally I look for water, uh, for fuel, sorry, on this one and figure it out. So um, what's the easiest one to get to? Anyway, a bit of a tip for you when you're cruising along. Oh, that's looking like a little bit of snow on top of the mountain. It is actually. Look at that. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, there is that, that far left one. Look at that. Oh. That's not snow, people. It looks like snow. Hey, look out the window here. Can you see the snow coming past us? <laughs> we're only about 10 minutes from a, a town called Kyandra, if that's how you say it. But we're going to try and camp there at a place called Three Mile Dam. Um, we'll show you that. But uh, I don't know. We probably should have done some more research because every national park campsite we've gone past on the way up here is bloody closed. The tracks are closed. Uh, so, yeah, we might, um, I don't know. The worst case scenario, we end up in Tumut, mate. That's alright. Or like Hirangabili <laughs> or something. Oh. Like a little bit out. Because we're literally in Kosciuszko National Park at the moment. So just driving through here and seeing the mountains and the snow, the snow is like like in front. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah. wow. It was it's so exciting to be here. Alright, so we've managed to find a campground. It's called Bullock's Hill. Check it, check it, check it. Snow everywhere, some little it's gum trees. So pretty. Oh, we're gonna go and pull up somewhere in the snow over here and uh, we'll set up, crank the diesel heater, mm. maybe get a fire going, and then um, crack into some dinner or something, throw some snowballs Yay. at mum. You wanna gang up on mum, kids? Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, have a look at this. What do you reckon, Roo? Yeah! Check it. Look at this. Snow, snow, snow everywhere. Dude, Billy slipped over before. There's a van. You're kidding, aren't you? Ah, uh, all right. Get the heater going. Get my boots on. And uh, we'll come out here and show you around. This is a bloody nice spot. It's snowing. How cool is this? <laughs> Oh, it feels like there's a bit of a storm coming in actually, so we might get a bit of snow, like a lot of snow. That'd be awesome if we had like, imagine if we had like 10, 20 centimetres oh, like fresh stop. powder. Wow. Ah. We are due for some. Mate, I'm that cold, it's not funny and I can't get these gloves open. Oh my god. Alright, it's time to gang up on mum kids. Oh yeah. I'm putting my mitts on so we can go and get a... Perfectly. Look at these, they look, look, look like camel toes, look at them. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of cool. You've got, haven't you the no, same? Oh, no. Nah. No, actually, like cow oh, toes. Cool. Wow. So you can still grip stuff. Yeah. So I can still use a camera. Yeah, that's up. handy. All right, I'm going to get a photo of the kids with Mama Bear. All right. Photo shoot.
snow, mate. Ah! You can't go. I wonder if you can even see it in the Oh, yeah, you should be able to. It's just coming down in like It's very tiny light little... snow, but it's snow. Ah. How have you not got a beanie on? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at his cheeks. are so big. Ah, oh, this is epic. Stuff. She's real coming in now. Look, I told you. Look at that oh, snow coming wow. in. That's sick. Oh, my gosh. How good. Oh, look, it's all over the roof. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, this is where really you didn't think we'd get this. This is the first night staying in the snow, and it's snowing. This is so cool. Oh, that's a good one, Bill. Yeah. Get up and have a look. That's killer. Uh -oh. Don't you dare. <laughs> Nice one, buddy. Oh, my God. You, can you see the snowflakes, Bezzy? Yeah. Look at them. They're like, tiny snowballs, but now they're, yeah, but now they're like floating. Flakes. Oh, this is epic. They're like, they're like going look this way. Yeah, look at them. Oh. Like that. That's wicked. They're like tiny snowflakes. Oh. Have you got your wind? Are you letting all the heat out? <laughs> Get out of it. How cool is it? Look out there. Oh, look. That, that way oh you can gosh. see it. I know. Oh my god, it's oh, really so cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is killer. Hey, uh, I'm mid. Uh, I'm mid cook for dinner. Beck's, Beck's gonna do a bit of a tour and show you where we hung everything up to dry, mate, while I cook tacos for dinner. So what we did is we got a heap of the fusion lock. Um, what do you call them? Yeah, these. Are oh, these. Yeah, we've got a heap of those and I've just dotted them around, but we actually are getting a, we've got a towel rail that I think we're going to pop up here. Yeah. I'm yet to buy hangers though, so I'm going to do that tomorrow and then I think we'll hang our clothes sort of up along here or something, but I've got Jacko in here at the moment on a hook in the bathroom <laughs> and then Charlie Bear's stuff's on a hook here <laughs> and then moving across Jack is here. And I've got my stuff down there oh, and Justin's nice. over there. So yeah. we've kind of got it all hanging up, but Justin um, bought this big tub. So we've got all our boots in here. So they're all nice and snug down there. And he hung one of these up. Oh yeah, they're all small. So we've got all our small things. Right in front of the heater. Man. Right in front of the heater. So our heater comes out right here and Billy got a heap of snow in his boots before he put his pants on. So we're drying those out. And we're going to have lovely warm mitts and beanies and things tomorrow. Can I show you, can I show you something up here? See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, we've got cardboard taped to the roof. It's actually, that's the caravan. And I felt it last night. There's like, like a cold draft coming in. And it's because it's windy. The air's going through the, the dust filter in, in. And I'm like, mm. I've got to block that off. We're losing heat. So I've taped it up with cardboard. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just the fact that I'm trying to stop the yeah. hot air getting out of here. And very exciting for us for the first time, uh, we don't have service here, but <laughs> we've got TV. So our sat is working in the middle of the snowy mounds, which is awesome. Kids are just chilling out, we're just having a chill Arvo, it's lovely. So good. And checking out our... I can't believe it's snowing. Like, no, I know, it is so unbelievable. We were hoping for this, but I didn't think it would happen. Mm. You can see, oh, I don't know whether you can see actually, but our tracks from where we drove in, and they are literally covered with snow now. Oh, love this. So good. Here you go, if you ever wondered if we can all fit around the dinner and have a taco night. We can. We can. Look at this, we got mints, cheese, guacamole, tomatoes. The whole show, mate, and we can still fit in here. It is a tight fit, but it's we can cozy. actually do it. It's cozy. But we couldn't do this in the last van. Mm. It's hence why we went for the bigger mm. club lounge because we it's snowing. Two... Well, it's snowing outside. Mm. We're not going to sit outside and eat tacos. So anyway, it works. Can we reckon? just say that again? It's snowing yeah. outside. <laughs> so cool. We're sitting in here. Right. Look at us, we're all red faced because it's so hot in here. <laughs> We've had the it's so heat going flat out.
This is about eight o'clock in the morning. We'll take you for a walk around. We've had about, I reckon, close to, I don't know, eight centimetres of snow overnight. What do you reckon, dear? Oh, oh yeah, I, yeah, about that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, anyway, no. come and check it out on the car. I've never seen this before in a beach camp. Don't worry about that. Holy. You could hear it all night landing on the roof of the van. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, we're pretty stoked with that gas heater. I was a bit worried after we first did the walk around vid. I had a few people say, oh, you should have stuck with the diesel because it's um, it's more of a dry heat and the, the gas one will make your van wet. No, mate, I can tell you, it, it would have been, I don't know, zero overnight. We had it cranking at 28 all night. It's dry as a chip in there. I love it. So check it. Here we go. Bullock's Hill, mate. <laughs> this is something we've never done before. How cool is this? Oh, man. It's so nice to wake up and look outside and do this. Oof. Stoked, mate. Absolutely stoked. So the kids, kids are pumped. They're straight outside. They've got all the snow gear on. They're throwing snowballs. What do you reckon of the snow, Rui? It's awesome. It's edible too. What's your hot tip, though? Come here with snow gear. <laughs> no. And a heater. What's your hot tip for the snow, Bill? Don't eat the yellow water. Don't eat the yellow the snow. <laughs> Good one. Show us your snow angel. Yeah. Wicked. That's a really good one. Isn't this something new, hey? Using a Weber, not only in the snow, but <laughs> I've got goggles, a beanie. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cook up bacon and eggs, mate. I'm just gonna have a uh, bacon and egg roll, some bacon, barbie sauce, and I've got this new Weber pan. This is a game changer, mate. Hey? Oh, it's so good. Bread roll, a couple of eggs. I'll slap that in there to heat up. It's really, oh, I can't wait to actually use this for like a bit of a casserole or something and just let it sit in the Weber. It's a killer, mate. Killer. All right, we'll get going. Kids have had pancakes already for brekkie, so it's just me, mate. Just me. Good thing is you just slap them in on the cold, and you don't have to worry about them sticking. Oop. Put the lid on, and look at this. Take the handle off, and you, oh, hang on, it does fit. Actually, you gotta turn it sideways, that's right. Turn that sideways, and it shuts in there. My favorite bacon is just rindless stuff. I don't eat the rind, and it's always a pain in the bum to rip it off later. It's chewy and stuff. I don't know. I like cooking it on there because it's nice and fatty, but then I don't like to eat it. So anyway, I'll buy this stuff, the one that hasn't got, hang on, if I can get it out. Oh man. I'll buy the stuff without the rind on it. So see how it hasn't got the, the chewy hard bit on the edge? It's still got the fat, so you still get all that yummy flavor, but you don't have to worry about cutting it off later. And then when you put it on your bacon egg roll, you know, like, you know when you pull it and all the rind comes out and half your roll and egg falls out with it? Yeah, so annoying. And then you can still fit your bacon on around the outside of your pot. Oh, oh I just dropped some in the snow. She's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the eggs are getting there, my friend. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it took a little bit longer to heat up in the cold, don't worry about that. Put that in there. Oh, I'll take the lid off, have a look. Have a look. It does wicked eggs, mate. I like mine just on the verge when the white stuff disappears, but the runny stuff's not too runny. So there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bit of barbie sauce. Oh, yep, yep. The ultimate brekkie in the snow, I reckon. Check that. <laughs> yes, mate. <sighs> Can this camp get any better? I don't think so. Oh, kids are making snowmen. Have a look at this. That's huge, look at that. Wow, eh? Can make a ginormous snowball? Yeah. Should stack them up, make a snowman. Yeah! 
Yeah. Anyway, what's the plan today? Mm. Gonna head towards Chumet, I think. Yeah, I think so. We kind of need, one thing we didn't think about when we planned this trip was how the hell do you dry all your clothes? Like, mm. not these, these are good. We've been hanging them up with the heater on. That worked well last night. But you just, your general washing, like your yeah. undies and your truckies and stuff. We could wash it, no worries. We've got the power in the water, but then how do you dry it? Mm. So You could do a Chinese laundry inside the van, yeah. but super Actually, annoying. Actually, we could try that. Mm. It'd be better to get real wet in there, all the moisture. Yeah. So I think we're going to have to go maybe drop in at a... A laundromat. a laundromat. Just use the dryers. Or get it on a powered site for a night. Um, yeah. Or just a caravan park for the night. And just to do all our washing because we haven't done any for four to five days. Oh, it'd be longer than that. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway. Like, people are running out of socks and undies. <laughs> <laughs> Righto. Oi, the kids are making their snowmen. I'm going to take them a little treat to finish it off. So, a carrot. we got some barbecue charcoal that I've been using. So, hopefully, we can make some buttons and a nose. Something like that. That's the plan anyway. Special delivery. I've got, got a nose and I've got some buttons. Here, Might be able to push, push the charcoal in on his front there. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you reckon won the snowman challenge? No, we can't pick a winner. No, they... me either. I reckon they're all bloody good for the <laughs> first time. They did really well, yeah. All right, come and have a look. So, Jacko, we're going to start with you. Do you mind removing the knife out of his head for a second? It's not Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look at this. They worked out well. Charcoal for buttons, carrot for a nose, the sticks. Where's yours, Bezzy? Come around here. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Yours is amazing. He looks like he's oh. really happy because he's got his hands up in the air. Here's a backpack. Nice. Put a backpack. And then, Bill, show us yours, mate. Yeah. Looks like a traffic controller, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright, well that's our first snowman. So, I, we're, like we said, we can't pick a winner. That's definitely so, right. everyone gets chocolate, everyone gets a hot chocolate, and everyone Yay, gets a chockey. Well How about done. that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's time to retreat inside. I reckon yeah, it just dropped like three or four degrees. Oh, it's very cold. We're um, going to have to get changed and start heading towards Tumut, I reckon. That's the plan. Alright, we're ready to go. The kids have got some food. I've just made a new deal, Beck. Yep. That Farts in the car oh. when you've got the heater on are way worse. Yeah. So we've just made a deal with Billy that if he does it again, we're leaving him behind. Just dropping him off. Oh my god. A hot fart in the car I is just did disgusting. One. Did one? One. You've been doing it for days, mate. Mate. Yeah, you're gonna need to drop you off at the next public toilet, I reckon. Really? Wow. I don't need to go. Alright, new oh. deal anyway. No more farts in the car. 